For those who were able to enjoy the fireworks, last night was the perfect weather for them, and today's weather is shaped out to be pretty nice for common ground. Oh yeah, very nice. At least it's you know dry as in rain free. It's yes. not very dry. It's actually quite humid. I think that's the thing a lot of folks might be noticing tonight. It's uh, going to be on the warm, summery side for Common Lots Ground. of water, folks. Lots of water. You'll need it. And if you're thinking that tonight, well, double it tomorrow. We're oh likely <laughs> to reach over 90 degrees tomorrow and Ooh. even more humid. So very summery for Common Ground. Hey, it's July, right? It's the warmest right. time of the year. And look at our temperatures now. Today, we're in the mid-80s. It's a couple of degrees warmer than yesterday, depending on who you were. Hillsdale yesterday was mid 70s. Lansing was about 82, 83. So a lot of us today, though, really into those 80 degree range. This is perfect average temperatures for early July. Now, dew points, that's where it really gets you. It's increasingly humid and uh, 60s, low 60s. It's noticeably humid out there, but I think that'll become a lot more obvious by the time we get towards tonight when we reach our lows. Be very warm and humid night and tomorrow it's all going to get well even more humid and more warm because we got this kind of plume of warm air over the central plains it's all kind of working its way northward and that heat and humidity as it works its way into the great lakes is going to be good fuel for both rain showers thunderstorms all of that kind of thing and we're seeing that as we look out west let's zoom in a little bit got some good storms firing up over the dakotas over minnesota some of which are severe now our own severe weather risk is relatively low it's not zero but it's relatively low this is all kind of still out west they're facing an active night we got tornado watches several warnings and things of that nature so as I look west, that's all just things headed our way. Again, not a big severe weather risk for us, but thunderstorms are in your weather headlines. On top of that, though, definitely hot, definitely humid. And thunderstorms, I would say we're going to see some, but it's going to be the pop-up variety that are going to be here tomorrow, both morning, afternoon, and evening. And then Thursday, it's kind of more of the same. Some of those will be hit or miss. Not a guarantee of a forecast. It's just something we might have to be dodging throughout the next couple of days. More rain and thunderstorms likely Thursday night through Friday. That's looking a bit more on the likely side. So as we go through our forecast tonight, I'd say mostly clear skies. Really very calm, pleasant weather. Certainly great for common ground. Through the overnight, more mostly clear conditions. Wednesday morning, maybe some early sun, partly to mostly cloudy skies here and there. And look at that little spotty showers and storms even as early as the morning or lunchtime and then more throughout the afternoon as we of course get into the heat of the day upper 80s to low 90s. Yes, yeah, it's going to be good fuel for some storms, but it's just not a guarantee. You might not see a single drop tomorrow, but other folks might get a really heavy rain shower. Just going to be hit or miss and that continues through uh, Wednesday evening. It dries up Wednesday night. Hopefully, at least for the end of Common Ground that night. On Thursday, it's looking very similar. Some sunshine here and there, more pop-up storms, then more steady rains by the time we get towards Thursday night. That should easily last through early Friday. Now, temperatures are on top of this, very warm. 90 degrees tomorrow, I'm thinking, is certainly likely, depending on how much sunshine we see, so upper 80s to low 90s. And then similarly warm on Thursday until it drops a bit for the weekend. The weekend is looking perfect for temperatures and humidity, but tonight, Warm lows, 67, mostly clear and humid, 91 the high tomorrow. If you see a few more clouds, maybe just upper 80s, but it's going to be a hot and humid day for all of us. Pop-up storms, I'd say, are likely. We're bound to see some of those throughout the morning, afternoon, and evening. Wednesday night, it clears up a bit, but evening storms still certainly possible. 70, your low at night. In the seven day forecast, it's pretty similar both Wednesday and Thursday. Very warm, very humid and pop up storms kind of just coming and going, coming and going. It's not until Friday that we see some of the heavier rains in the daytime, some more steady storms. Saturday and Sunday look great. Next week will be warm again. So common ground is, of course, tonight all the way through Sunday. Right. So it's not going to be uniform conditions all of those days. If you do see some storms, be weather aware. Out in the open is not good for that. I know the common ground folks have addressed that already. Right, right. So I just got to kind of, you know, take it as it is. But no it will be warm. No emergency plans going in. That's always yes, a great idea. Yes, stay hydrated. Bring the sunblock. So important. <laughs>